This is Philip Douglas Taylor, 16 time world champion and the GOAT of darts. But the question is, how much will I need to cheat in order to beat him? Today, I'm upgrading from the Scolia Home to the Scolia Home 2. Let's get into it. So here we go. I have upgraded from a Scolia Home to a Scolia Home 2. In this video, I'm going to put it together, show you how it all works, and then get on to beating Phil Taylor, or trying to anyway. If you didn't know already, I will be raffling off my original Scolia home and giving all the money to charity. So stay tuned for the announcement on how to enter the raffle. But first of all, let's get into what's in the box. We've got a user manual. We have also got the cables. To give it some power, that's quite important. Next up, the processing unit mount, followed by the first camera, the second camera, and the third and final camera. You also get a cover plate and the ring light. And one thing I did miss off was the processing unit itself. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know what a Scolia is, a Scolia is a auto scoring dart system. So the three cameras that connect to the ring light here pick up the dart when you throw it at the board and add your score up and take it away from your total automatically without you doing anything. It's a great bit of kit. I've been using the Scolia Home original one for a while now and like I said, I've just upgraded to the Scolia Home 2. Both do the same thing, both look slightly different though. This is just a newer version which I can't wait to try. The great thing is you can play against bots, you can play against people around the world, you can play tournaments, there's practice games, there's all sorts of things you can play on the Scolia. And if you saw my last video putting the whisper up, you know that my DIY skills are terrible. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it, it's a pretty good video. But I'm just going to show you how easy this Scolia is to put up. I am truly terrible at DIY and even I could do it. So this whole process took about 15 minutes to do. That includes attaching the cameras to the ring light, drilling the walls, screwing the skull into the wall, and installing it and connect it to the Wi-Fi. Now I understand you might be wondering, what's this got to do with Phil Taylor and cheating against Phil Taylor? Well, as you can imagine, it's quite difficult to get hold of Phil Taylor for a game with darts. But luckily for me, the Scolia could be the next best thing. With the Scolia put up and the ball back on the wall, it's time to explain to you what's going to happen in this challenge. On the Scolia, you can play against different leveled bots, and you'll see when I scroll down here, you can play a bot that is meant to be as good as Phil Taylor with a 105 average. I'm going to play one leg of darts against Phil to see if I can beat him. Now, I know what you're thinking, you've got no chance. I've seen you play before, you're about a 60 average player at best. Well, here's the twist. Luckily enough, I own a few sets of darts. So what I'm going to do, every time I lose a leg, I'm going to add one dart picked by a random generator. These are the darts I'm currently using. These are the Scott Williams Gen 1s with Johnny Clayton air wings and 40 millimeter vulture Swiss points from Eagle Darts. So let's get into the first leg now. I don't expect to come anywhere close to 105 average with three darts. I expect it might be around five or six darts that I'll need to fill three. But let's see how we get on. As you expect, Phil's starting off fairly strong with a 140. I'm going to need something big to reply. A steady ton there for me. And I also forgot to mention, I've given Phil the throw to make it even harder for myself to try and beat him. A poor visit there for me, only 45 scored. The legs pretty much over with Phil left on 161. I'm pretty sure it'll take us out in less than six darts, and I can't see me going out in less than six. Even me throwing pretty well with a 17 on average, it's still not good enough to get down to a finish. Phil with 16 left, he's missed. What can we do to reply? We need to put some pressure on him. Will he feel pressure? He's a bot, probably not. We leave ourselves one, two, four, with Phil left on eight. 
will he take it out or will we get a shot at this 1-2-4 to end the video really really early 1-2-4 will it go knee treble 18 no no chance Phil with two left double one for Phil He pins it first dart, so I spun the wheel to get myself another dart to add to my three darts. So I'll be throwing four darts, and Phil will be throwing three. We've got the Gezi Price black ice that we're going to use. So we've got the three Scott Williams and the Gezi Price dart. Can I beat Phil with four darts? Draw back in again, and Phil starts with a 140, as you'd imagine. Now I'm going to throw four darts. Let's see what we can score. We've got to score at least 140 here. Again, Phil has the throw first. He's got the advantage. We've scored 60. We need a big score here. And we clutch up with a 60. So 120 scored. Now, obviously, I had to edit the score on the Scolia. So my averages won't be real. And also, the score on the screen won't be correct as well. But the overall score in total will be correct. Now, what can Phil do to reply? What's he got in the locker here? Just 100 scored. Now, there's a chance here. We need to throw something big. We need to throw, ideally, a 180 with these four darts just to get into the leg and pull ahead slightly because we're going to need a few chances at a double, I believe, here. And we've gone with a 80 scored, which won't be good enough. It won't be good enough to get ahead of him. Now, Phil still has the advantage. I'm back on 301. Phil's on 261. So even with four darts, I can't get ahead of him. Again, he's left himself 161 after just nine darts. I'm going to need a big score here. Definitely need a big one just to leave himself on a finish to give myself a chance. I think after the mess he made last time with that 161, I don't think he'll do it again. But we have scored just 105 and we don't leave a finish, which is not ideal at all. Even though I've got a fake average of 101, Phil averaging 108, not even giving him a sniff. But he's only scored 55, so it gives us a chance. What can we do for this 196? We've got to leave it pretty handy and hope that he doesn't take it out. Can we beat Phil Taylor with just four darts? Let's see what we've got left after this dart here. And it's only 60 scored, an absolute stinker. Open the door right up for Phil here. 106 for Phil, will it go in three? If it does go, it'll be 100 average for the power. Single 20, treble 18, double 16, and that's the leg one. So we can't beat Phil with four darts. Let's see what dart we get next. We've got the Joe Cullen Special Edition. So I've now got five darts. I've got the three Scott Williams. I've got the Gezi Price Black Ice, and now the Joe Cullen Special Editions. Can I beat him with five darts to his three? Let's get into it. Again, same rules apply. Phil has the throw first. This time he starts with just a ton. So he's given us a chance already if we can do something good with these five darts. And hopefully this will be the last leg. Surely I can meet him with five darts. I know I'm not very good, but with five darts in hand, I've got a chance at least. If you've got this far in the video, you're an absolute legend. Comment below how many darts you think it would take you to beat Phil with 105 average. But for me, I've got off to an absolute stinker. Only 64 score with five darts in hand. We've got some work to do. We're still behind after the first visit. We need something big and we need Phil to not throw a 180. What's he got? Just a ton scored from Phil there. And that is a much better visit. Two triple twenties and three in the 20. The fakest 180 you'll ever see. But for this challenge, we'll absolutely take it. We're finally in the lead. It's a slim lead, but a lead nonetheless. What will Phil do to reply? Just a ton there for Phil. And if we can get out in two visits here, I think we can do it. I don't think he's going to go out in six from 201. Another shocker of a visit, only 81 scored. But that leaves us on 176. Usually, as we all know, not a finish. But in this scenario, we've got a chance. It's not much of a chance, but we have got a chance. 
with Taylor back on 201, it's all about this visit for him. How handy can he leave it? And how many more darts at this finish will we get? He's left himself 76, so he'd fancy him taking it out in the next three darts. I've got 176. I'm not going to lie, at this point, the camera filming me throw stopped working, so I had to sort of bodge it all together. The scoreboard is still correct. The video of the darts hitting the board is still real. It's just me throwing it's been edited and put in because I couldn't be able to film the whole day again. So, we're still in it. What have we got left? Phil has got eight left. Not ideal. We've got 35 left with five darts in hand. Can we take it out? I've gone 15 for double 10. Double 10 left, just outside. Double 10 for the game, just inside the six. Double seven left. Outside, double seven for the leg. And there it is. There's the stats, 107 average for me. It's not really 107 average, because I threw five stars, obviously. But we got the win, nevertheless. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. If you want to see some more Scolia challenges, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to film some more. I'll catch you in the next video.